What is going on guys? I am Jehovah. This video is brought to you by Rue. Rue is a huge fan of GTA and he produces a lot of GTA content that is really, really good. Uh, he's been producing a lot of GTA content on this channel and uh, I decided to help him out by running a bit of a promotion for GTA 5. So if you want to help us out by giving us a little bit of feedback on this video, maybe a like and a comment down below, definitely check out his link in the description and subscribe to him. You will be automatically entered to win a copy of GTA 5 when it comes out later this year in September. And uh, so good luck, and if you want to, enter the giveaway, and you can win a copy of GTA 5. What are you waiting on? Go ahead, do it. All right, enjoy the video. Hey, how are you doing? I'm Irul399. Welcome to my GTA 5 chat show. Today we're going to be discussing something that is probably a bit touch and go. It's not confirmed for console, but it's definitely something that's been you know, a feature in the franchise in previous iterations, GTA 4 for example. On the PC version it was theatre mode and it was kind of one of these things you'd go through. I think you could only take about 30 seconds worth of clip and kind of upload that up to the social you know, social club for Rockstar. Quite a good little feature if you had the game on PC because you could change the camera angles, you could make stuff look rather rather cool you know you could change it around you were limited you were really limited and I mean like 30 seconds I believe was the limit and that isn't very much at all especially if you're one of these people that are likely to use that kind of camera editing software which is you know it, for me YouTube I mean if I'm gonna wanna be able to use that I wanna be able to cut stuff together plant stuff in move stuff around edit it out a little bit so there's kind of you know some kind of you know special effect going over the top and I wanna be able to make some kind of stunt montage which is uh, what a lot of people used okay they used they use the camera angles I know if you're um, if you're in touch with the GTA scene on YouTube there's a fella called insane gas he does that he shows off mods and the camera angles he uses for that is only available sort of through PC and you know even then it's kind of limited to what you can do so you know I think the the question we should be asking is is it possible to have it on a console will it be on the console version of GTA 5 I'd like to think Rockstar will have developed it enough to be able to say yes because like anything once you give you know a team quite a bit of time to move forward with technology and development and stuff it should be available it really should be uh, I made a video on my channel the other day saying uh, you know about the Rockstar social club integration there's a lot of focus now on social media, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, you know, even the social clubs getting a bit of uh, attention, what with crews and whatever. The ability for people to, uh, you know, to capture their own gameplay and put it up on the net, whether it's good or bad, is in demand. And I think people, you know, especially people like Rockstar, would take note of that and at least try to put something in there. They had it just for the PC version. I'm not entirely sure why it was only PC. I guess the extra six months in which they used you know, to kind of develop it and move it over might have helped and played a factor into that but I don't really know the ins and outs of it all I'm here to say is that I think it should be and there is a good chance that it will be on the console version now there's a big debate going on about whether or not the game will come out on PC I think it's almost inevitable for this game to come out on the PC All right, I just think it maybe April next year maybe the middle of next year simply because this is potentially one of the biggest games of the decade yeah it's going to be one of these things Rockstar are gonna to have to focus on if you look at Max Payne 3 the PC specifications are you know brilliant and the options there on PC are great so they've obviously spent a lot of time for you know getting that down to a T it should certainly come out on PC so in that respect you'd also think that theatre mode will be available on PC and it, you know after five years after GTA 4's came out you'd imagine that all theatre mode and all that kind of stuff and social media aspects have been improved. One of the things that would probably hold it back however on console is the fact that the consoles especially the Xbox 360 and PS3 now are very limited to what they can do. We've got to keep in mind that Rockstar are probably using all of the potential of the Xbox to get GTA 5's map in the game and all the features that are going to be there. I'd imagine it's going to be at least two or three discs, maybe three for GTA 5 on Xbox 360, maybe you know, one for the first part of the story, one for the second part, maybe one for the multiplayer. I'm not entirely sure how that would play out. What with uh, you know, you know, uh, it being an open world game, so. I'm not really sure. Theater mode on GTA 5, 
I think it's something that would be very beneficial, something I'd use a lot because I could use it in a lot of editing. I could go and you know get different perspectives on certain stunts and show you different areas. It would be pretty cool and I think a lot of people would use it, unlike something in Call of Duty which is kind of only there specifically for people that are interested in editing and recording and whatever. I'm sure that's what that's there for. I mean, for GTA, if you've done a stunt, you want to be able to see it from all kinds of you know angles. What do you think? Are you one of these people that would uh, kind of say yes to a theatre mode? Something that could take more than a 30 second clip, maybe up to three or four minutes, maybe five minutes of footage? It'd be very difficult to do, and I mean, I guess there may be a few of you out there that understand this technology a little bit more, so maybe you could fill me in if I've got anything wrong. Uh, but either way, I've been Aru399. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to come on over and check my channel out, I'd appreciate that very much indeed. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a bit.